This is an easy, delicious, and healthy pasta side dish. Creamy butternut squash pasta. I'm Tess, and welcome to my kitchen. So let's get started. In my saucepan on medium heat, I'm adding a couple tablespoons of olive oil, some diced onions, celery, carrots, and some salt and pepper, giving that a mix and cooking for a minute. Next, I'm adding a cup of diced apples just to add a little bit of sweetness, cooking for a couple minutes, and then adding lots of diced butternut squash. Squash is so plentiful this time of year, and we just love it. You can roast the squash if you want for some additional flavor, but I thought I would just cook mine on the stove tonight. Stirring and cooking for about 5 to 8 minutes or until the squash just starts to break down. And then I'm adding 1 cup of diced tomatoes and 2 cloves of sliced garlic. And there's no need to mince as everything will be cooked and blended together. Adding some chili powder for some flavor. Stirring to make sure everything is well combined. It is really smelling awesome. You can find this recipe in the list of ingredients in the description box below. I'm adding 4 cups of chicken broth or just enough to cover the veggies. You can use vegetable broth or even water. Adding more flavor with a pinch of cayenne pepper for a little kick and some fresh sage leaves. Some of my garden sage is still alive this time of year and I'm putting it to use. Stirring, bringing up to heat and simmering for about 20 to 30 minutes or until the veggies are all fork tender. If you like this creamy butternut squash pasta recipe, please remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment below. You can also find me and more of what I cook on Facebook and Tess Cooks For You blog. After 30 minutes, I'm removing my sage leaves, cooling slightly, and pureeing the mixture in my blender. You can use a food processor or an immersion blender. Everything goes right back in the pot and bringing up to medium heat. At this point, you could add a little bit more broth or water to thin it out, a little bit of cream, and eat it as a soup. But I'm going to keep it thick for a sauce and add about three quarters of a cup of half and half. You can use cream here if you wish, and you can add as much or as little as you like. Giving the sauce one last taste test. I cooked one pound of tricolor rotini pasta according to the box instructions, and I'm adding the pasta directly from the water into the butternut squash sauce. The small amount of water transferred from the pasta will help the sauce stick to the rotini. You may even want to use some of the pasta water to help thin out your sauce, if need be. Next, I'm adding some shredded Parmesan cheese, some fresh chopped sage, and a little bit more cayenne pepper for my taste giving that a good but gentle stir to make sure everything is well combined. It may look a little loose and runny at first, but the sauce will tighten and thicken as it cools. Serving tonight with some fresh grated Parmesan cheese on top, along with some roasted chicken breasts. This creamy butternut squash pasta is so easy, yummy, and healthy. I hope you give it a try. Enjoy. And thanks so much for joining me here in my kitchen. You can subscribe here for my future video recipes. And remember to come visit me on Facebook. You never know what I might be cooking. Until next time, much love.